Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my room. A few days ago, I posted in the community tab about the target situation. My community tab is like Twitter to me. I don't like Twitter because it's like the dumping ground of the internet, so I use my community tab. It's legit the exact same thing, and I don't need to cross platforms to communicate with you guys because I think that's retarded. Anyways, I posted about the target situation, and now we're going to talk about it because target is beginning to panic, and it's friggin' hilarious. So first, we're going to talk about Bud Light because you guys are doing a fantastic job with the boycott, and Bud Light sales continue to drop going into its second month and they're not even circling the drain at this point they're free falling through the sewage system they pushed gender ideology and then they got backlash from conservatives so they rerouted and pushed offensive stereotypical conservative pandering which not only angered conservatives even more it angered the liberals because they went back on their support of Dylan Mulvaney so now they're being boycotted by literally everyone and they fucked themselves so hard it has legitimately terrified other corporate entities and this is what's amazing about that we the people have the very heart of corporate America by the balls. We the people who have spent decades watching these towering corporations get bigger and bigger and more powerful and we stand in their shadow feeling powerless to go up against any agenda their CEO might have. Yeah, we can raise arms against a tyrannical government but what do we do against a tyrannical company bro? A tyrannical business pushing its ideology and influencing the people who influence the government towards tyranny. What do we do then bro? Because it, it seems like the dictators in our country have found a convenient little loophole to usher in their fascism. Tyrannical government comes into power because they're being influenced by tyrannical people who are brainwashed by tyrannical companies pushing tyrannical propaganda. And for a really long time, we had no idea how we were going to fight back. And a lot of people became nonchalant about it, sort of numb to the idea of tyranny. Sort of like if they're not seeing a Stalin-esque Hitler-looking dude Nazi saluting in the Oval Office, then tyranny must not be happening. People just wanted to work in the factory job, come home, crack open a Bud Light, and watch the game not be bothered, you know? Well, Bud Light fucked up so hard, and they don't even realize how hard. Yeah, your bottom line is dropping. Cool. It's been dropping forever. That's irrelevant. Bud Light has fucked up so hard that the shockwave of their failure has cracked the matrix. People who once felt defeated by the overwhelming volume of the silent minority are now realizing that they also have a voice. The factory worker who didn't want to be bothered has now been forced to participate, and it's left companies in one hell of a panic state, my friends. Enter woke liberal corporation and knockoff brand Walmart, Target. Target is the latest company on the chopping block. And fun fact, I used to work at Target and they fired me, so this video kind of feels like vengeance to me. <laughs> Here we go. My queer year. There's cards for the gay people in your life. Welcome to Target. The front door is right there. So we are like 10 steps in before there is an entire pride display for your children to see. Okay, these are like naked people on shirts. I was curious um, where the straight section is. So like shirts that say like straight pride and like hetero is hack. Super sis, you guys have like gate clothes, but you have like straight, like specific straight clothes to be in it. <laughs> she said hetero as heck. <laughs> Super sis. Oh, I was just curious where the straight section was. I wanted to buy some gifts for my kids. Can you not record me, please? I'm recording her. Record me. I'm recording her. Oh, she's recording me. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay, where's the straight section for straight and kids? Indoctrination of straight, kids, so. and you're like. Now, for the record, we should establish that the worker drones are just doing what they're told and don't deserve harassment on behalf of an entity like Target. But this is the consequence of rolling out this propaganda and not looking for a new job immediately. You get caught in the crossfire of the culture war. Somebody needed to look like a fool to get Target's attention, and guess what? It worked. And I bet you could imagine the look of horror sweeping across Target's face when it logged into TikTok and saw Target needs the Bud Light treatment. We traumatized corporations with Bud Light. Well, you did. I don't drink beer. This was just the beginning of the Target cancellation. Anyone please tell me what the heck is going on with Target? Target, uh, the, the Target have uh, gotten in trouble for attack friendly swimwear. In kids' sizes. Now, I should go without saying that this is far, far worse than anything Bud Light did. Things like that. I mean, normalizing kids tucking their genitalia as if they're Leah Thomas about to take on the females at an NCAA championship. This is the face of the person doing some pride designs for Target. I believe this person was born a woman. I will leave it at that. Read his shirt. 
Target because I heard that their new Pride collection was out. So let's take a look. This is a special swimsuit. It is invented for tough. Live, laugh, lesbian. Are they amoebas? These don't even look like people. Queer, queer. This right here. These are baby clothes. They say that grooming isn't happening. Then why are there Pride baby onesies? Let me tell you something. I'm done with talking. They ain't never gonna get no money out of me no more. They cancel. Back to Walmart I go. Oh, you know they fucked up when they lost the support of Nino Brown. I don't know who he is or what he does, but this motherfucker mean business. Let me tell you something. Tell me something, Nino. I'm done with talking. Shit, me too, Nino. Back to Walmart I go. Walmart closer to my house anyway, Nino. Let me tell you what they done did. What they done do, Nino? They even got codes with satanic images and pentagrams and symbols like horn skulls and references to devils. The satanic designer says Target approached him to do a partnership deal. He ain't approached Target, which means Target been on the satanic agenda. Oh, okay, so Target's always been fucked up. Got it. Target didn't take long to respond to the backlash. Well, they didn't respond directly. They responded by taking all their pride shit and quietly hiding it in the back. Now, I don't know if they hid it in the back back or if they just moved the display away from the entrance. But either way, they are very nervous. They began holding emergency meetings to try to, quote, avoid a butt light scenario. Target holding an emergency meeting over its controversial pride merchandise. The damage control mode comes as it desperately tries to avoid a so-called Bud Light situation. A Target insider telling Fox News Digital, quote, we were given 36 hours, told to take all of our pride stuff and move it into a section that's a third of the size from the front of the store to the back. I think given the current situation with Bud Light, the company is terrified. And they should be. This is the power that we've obtained through our newfound awakening. We have the, well, I mean, you have. I don't shop at Target. I've been, I've been boycotting Target since they fired me, so... Technically, I was boycotting Target before it was cool. I'm not saying that I'm a trendsetter or anything. I'm simply saying that I boycotted Target and then everybody else boycotted Target. These are simply facts. The time span between the events are completely irrelevant and we should pay no mind to that particular detail. Anyway, we should definitely keep the boycott going. I'm getting tired of this shit being pushed in front of children. It's really gross. And the denial of the grooming that's being pushed in front of our very faces, like we can fucking see it. And people are like, yes, that's a children's shirt with naked people on it. But what do you mean grooming? We've begun winning with Bud Light and we need to keep going with Target. And maybe we'll start to see the pendulum swing back in the other direction. One thing I don't understand is why giant companies are taking these political stances because you're guaranteed to alienate 50 percent of your audience Idiot. well bud light um has become the poster boy for brand mismanagement is probably a good lesson for every ceo in every sector of the economy and i certainly talked to all my ceos about this because here we are talking about it in its second month yeah i'll be teaching this one at harvard there's no question about it when you take polarized positions on any narrative you are going to alienate 50% of your consumer 100% of the time. For example, my YouTube channel is about as political as I get. I don't push politics in my music because all kinds of people listen to it. And I'm developing a game that isn't political because when I release it on Steam, I don't want to immediately turn off half of my audience. But to push sexuality on children is gross and companies willing to do that bullshit need to be made an example of. What Target did is way worse than what Bud Light did because at least Bud Light was still targeted to adults, just the wrong adults. Target is openly pushing this shit onto children and their stock must fall. Anyways, that's it for this one. Thank you you guys so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe for more commentary videos like this one and you can sign up for my patreon if you want to support the channel or go to my music channel at nefarious music to check out some tunes that i make in between projects and i'll see you in the next video i've been riding around town blowing loud with the window down oh shit new phone who this i'm just steady winning you can't even hurt my feelings homie oh shit new phone who this you can't ever slow me happy y'all don't even know me homie oh shit new phone who don't you dare try to call me cause I'm introverted homie better text me that shit New phone who this?